For Nana Rakufo Addo supporters, it was a night of celebration. During his campaign, Ghana's new president-elect pledged to rebuild the economy, and it's a promise people want him to honour. For the past few years, Ghana's battled challenges like rising inflation and youth unemployment, which is now at nearly 50%. But in the cold light of day with the celebrations over, it's time for the hard work to begin. A transitional team has already been put in place by the president-elect and Ghanaians, both those who voted for the MPP as well as those who didn't, are making their priorities heard. The first thing that the MPP government rather should is to tackle the youth employment, unemployment issue because it's really affecting us and each and every year we have people that they do uh, they do graduate from the universities and the polytechnics and if each year they come and they are not working. The priority for the new government is one, unemployment, one, that is under factor, that, that is to the, the revival of the economy. The issue of corruption has been a very challenging one for this nation in, in a couple of years and uh, I'm looking forward that uh, Nana Akufado or tackle that assiduously. Ghana's small and medium-sized businesses face several challenges. Many struggle with the rising cost of utilities and a lack of access to affordable loans. Akufo Addo's National Patriotic Party has pledged to create a more enabling environment for businesses. But the MPP on all this front have promised to reduce the taxes, abolish some of them, and then they also envisage to cut interest rates and all that. So on the face of it, looking at the promise they have made, uh, it looks good and businesses are so happy. But it also boils down to the implementation, which is also critical for people to be happy about the change that they voted for. Nana Akufo Addo will officially take over as the president of Ghana on the 7th of January 2017. For his supporters, that day can't come soon enough. Katerina Vitozzi, CCTV, Accra, Ghana.